the F-35s roaring over the White House aren't just for entertainment. There to give Polish President Andrzej Duda a glimpse of the new fighter jets Poland has just ordered. It's a very big order. Thank you very much. The F-35 deal was just one of the agreements signed between Poland and the United States on Duda's recent visit. But perhaps the most attention-grabbing was the news that 1,000 extra US soldiers would be sent to Poland. Będzie więcej amerykańskich żołnierzy w Polsce. Będzie to wzmocniona współpraca. Będzie to trwała obecność, która będzie się stopniowo, mam nadzieję, rozwijała pod względem i ilości żołnierzy, ale także i pod względem infrastrukturalnym. To jest bardzo ważne. Poland's ruling Law and Justice Party has wanted more US involvement in Poland since it came to power in 2015. They say it's a necessary defensive measure, especially since Russia annexed Crimea from Ukraine. But Russia sees increased American military involvement in Poland as a threat. For Moscow, it's more evidence of Western expansion into areas Russia sees as belonging to its own sphere of influence. We see these moves as an element of destabilization of the military and political situation in Europe and a threat to Russia's national security. The US-Polish relationship has been strong under President Donald Trump. Poland has hosted joint military exercises and has backed Trump's nationalist agenda, as well as giving the US president a rare warm welcome on a foreign visit. Poland is no stranger to being stuck between Russia and the West, with each side perceiving the country as part of their own backyard. Even Trump sympathizes. Poland has really built up a great country. You know, they get uh, they get hurt, unfortunately, uh, too often, right? Too often. They end, they're in the middle of everything. And when bad things happen, it seems that Poland is always the first one that's in there. And it's, uh, it's unfortunate. Because of those constant battles over Poland throughout history, millions of Polish people have left the country. The global diaspora is estimated at around 20 million people, and you can find them in some of the most unexpected places. This is Polonezkoy. There are Polish signs here, a Polish church, and even a graveyard too. But this is a village just outside of Istanbul, and it was founded by Poles who fled after a failed uprising against the Russian Empire in the middle of the 19th century. At the time they fled to the Ottoman Empire, there was no Poland. It went from being a powerful empire to disappearing in 1795, after it was divided by its rivals. For the next 123 years, it disappeared from maps until the end of the First World War. But in the Second World War, it was divided again, this time between Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union. Poland found itself controlled by Soviet-backed communists after World War II. And the one-party state system continued until 1989, when the communists were overthrown. Since then, the country has joined NATO and the European Union. But a lot of Poles haven't forgotten history and still keep a wary eye on Russia. Abu Bakr al-Shamahi, The Newsmakers, Istanbul.